Hi, this is Kellyanne. This is Tyler. We are the Jordan's Create. Here we are. Yes. Another one. What's today's? Today, first of all, how y'all doing? Hope you guys are doing well. Um, Indeed we are. Yeah. Hope you are too. Yeah, and um, so today we're going to be talking about something that was really popular. Um, we kind of were just letting some of it die down so we can ruminate on it. In a different yeah. kind of perspective, that's yeah. all. Someone actually suggested we talk about it, and we've already been talking about it and thinking about it and ruminating on it. So I know you're wondering at this point, what is the it that we're talking about? Well, we're talking about this. This is America. There you go. By right. Childish Gambino. And we didn't want to talk about it just uh, in the same way that you see a lot of it out there. Oh, what's the symbolism? What does this mean? What is he saying? So we're taking it as, um, just really as, as believers, when you sit down and you watch a video like this, what is it that we come away with? You know, what is it that we should come away with it? What is it that we do come away with it? You know, that kind of, that kind of uh, approach to it. I mean, I think almost as soon as the video came out, people were analyzing it, um, trying to figure out, like, what are the themes that he's talking about, you know? Yeah, it is a very, very... Highly symbolic video. It is driven by a lot of symbolism. I think that pretty much everything you notice in the video means something. It's a very intentional um, piece of art. I'm watching it, you know, and 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 then I see these people get shot, and I'm just like, I was not expecting that. Um, to me, it's so graphic and so jarring, but it's so quickly just switched to. The next, the next thing, which was him dancing and having a good time, and for me that was like, oh, okay. Well, well that's kind of what we do, right? We laugh and we smile through our pain. We figure out ways to, to cope, and to keep moving, and to just keep moving. Just we just kind of brush it off, and it's just like, keep, move on to the next thing. Yeah. Move on to the next thing. Move on to the next thing. That was my thinking. Was just like laughing and smiling through the pain. And I, I can say this for like all Americans, but also particularly just African Americans and just the different things that have come to light, um, different things that have been happening and um, just how we have created spaces where we can laugh and smile through our pain. Like the barbecue lady. So the cops shut the cops down. Even though it's just like not the best scenario. Yeah. You just just laugh there's like laughing just so we can just get past this this moment or even so we, we try and figure out how to manage this mm -hmm. moment because we have so many moments now you know um talk about laughing and smiling through our pain and finding that balance between getting over it and moving on to the next thing and still processing and living through what is actually happening around mm -hmm. us you know because you know, there's already the pressure. There's already something else on the docket that we have to deal with. Right. I mean, there's that reality that, the, you know, as much as our world might have stopped and stood still, the world has not stopped right. and stood still. And it won't. Yeah, this is actually America. You know, this is our world. This is, this is, this is America and a reflection of not just blacks or whites, but all of us um, with specific things. So like the getting over it quickly, some of that is just our culture. But another thing- You say our is, culture, you mean African-American culture or are you talking about, I'm trying I'm to find- the, I'm sorry, the culture, of, American culture, the culture of America. Okay. And unfortunately the culture of America since kind of our inception there's always been this kind of like there's always been a kind of a division a separation that we were founded on like, like this is this us and them type of thing that's that marketing system that's really kind of how like America is marketed too to the world like 
we are we are exceptionalism we are better we <clears throat> it's us and it's them we are the uh, america's the standard and everyone else is like you guys need to come up to where we are yeah. i think that a lot of that the idea and the concept of america as being this exceptional place so we're like the uh, in the upper echelon of <laughs> at least in our own eyes and as we present ourselves to the world right. i think at large but i think a lot of that just comes from the nature of the origin of this place as a country in general you know when um the europeans were coming over you know it was like okay this new world you know this is the new frontier this is what's gonna help us you know this is the the people that are destitute and poor and don't have jobs and don't have money they can go get a new start here in the new world in america right right and then that's the mentality that drove a lot of people here mm -hmm. and i don't think it ever left that's kind of always been the position that we've been in as a country but i think it started with the land itself and it being this beacon of hope this beacon of newness this beacon of uh pushing us in a new direction at the expense of others well and that was always been the case too it's yeah. always been at the expense of others because mm -hmm. of course you know we uprooted the whole native american culture that was indigenous mm -hmm. and that you know that this land belonged to mm -hmm. right we came in and we said that this is ours now and when we're talking about america it has to be we came in and we said that this is ours because as an African American, that is part of my history because it's American history. As much as I can say, oh, look at the Europeans, look at white people, they're always doing this, right? That was a part of my history, you know. If it came down to it right now, you know, there's the African American community, African American community at large is not going to say, you know what, let's go ahead and all these advantages that we've been given at the expense of the Native Americans. Let's go ahead, let's give them, you know, Floridians. How many Floridians would be willing to, to leave their homes now and give those that land back over to the Natives that were here? You know, the Seminoles, the Miccosukees, the, the Native tribes that were already here, right? So just like we shake our fist at people enjoying the benefits that they've received at the expense of our blood and our toil without labor, we have received those same benefits too. And it's not a cultural thing. It's it, this, you know, in terms of an individual culture versus another one, this is part of our identity and this is part of our heritage as Americans. And to me, that's one of the strongest statements that the video in this song makes is like, look, this is America, this is you. You know, you have to be able to look yourself in the mirror and acknowledge who you are and all of its ugliness and all of its beauty because you're inseparable. You are who you are. Yeah, and, and that for me is like the same thing, like take an honest, ugly look at America. Yeah, like, what's and all. The glorified violence, you know, the, the, the desensitization that we have. You yeah. know, in the video you could see there's this utter pandemonium <laughs> and then there are kids like on the balcony um, yeah. Just filming it. Right. And, that, and that's kind of And like, their mouths are covered. Their eyes their are open covered. to it and right. they're taking it in, but there's nothing being said about right. it. Right. And there's nothing in it. And you've seen that. And I, in recent years, I've seen more and more and more of that where, you know, an incident happens. And instead, there was just an incident on the airplane, on an airplane coming um, inbound to Miami on American Airlines flight. And they, they get into a fight on the airplane, and and the guy they interview the person who made the video, and he's like, "Oh, I knew something was about to happen, so I just pulled out my iPhone." And I'm thinking to myself, instead of pulling out your iPhone, why didn't you try to do something? You know, it's like a, someone's jumping to their death, and you decide to, you know, pull out your phone to record it instead of going to try to help. I feel like in our in our in our culture, it's like. What's more important is being the person who caught it on camera, you know, being the person who gets a million views because of the video they posted of a fight. Um, and it's, it's, there's so many websites you can put it on. Yeah. I mean, between YouTube and then there's, um, there's World Star Hip Hop, there's TMZ wants everything from everybody. It's like, is that the thing that's important? 
our eyes are open to everything, but our mouths, when we actually need to say things, are closed. I mean, for me, that was important, and that's what we're teaching our children. We're teaching our children what's important by what we do and what we don't do. Right. And, they and have that's equal America weight. They too. absolutely have equal weight. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, even that guy, there's someone who's, you know, jumping to his death. It's just, that video had so many, and we're, we're not really trying to talk about the symbolism. You can watch it and kind of think for yourself, but there was a lot of um, symbolism in there. The fact that there are kids just joyfully dancing around and there's complete pandemonium behind them. I mean, it was, it was definitely artistry and I can't, I could say it's been a while and, and since I've seen a video that um, captured my attention through the visuals. Right. Because I don't as much as I am someone who writes and listens intently for lyrics I mean for me that song like I could listen to it without the sound and really get what he's trying to say I'm not really even sure what the lyrics are I probably google the lyrics just to see what he's saying but um yeah the fact that this is America this is us right um there's so many things happening in our world and we still think we're the cream of the crop. And that's not to get, don't get me wrong. America is a wonderful and great nation. Absolute. Absolute. But it's not only wonderful and only great. Right. And I think that's, that's what we really have to look at. When we look at the video is, I think that's our challenge is to watch the video and find out where you see yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, and where you identify with all the chaos and pandemonium and all the different things that you see, you know, don't use it as an external commentary, use it as an internal reflection. And I think, you know, it's, 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 it's quite an experience. So the cops shut the pops down.